Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to review a ROM for the OnePlus One which is called Xenon HD. If you go to the settings menu, about phone you can find Xenon HD and um, which is based on Android 5.1.1 Lollipop and this is the version which is released in September, I mean July 25th, 2015. And here you can see other details as well. So. Talking about the overall fast and smoothness of this ROM, this ROM is very fast as you can see, very responsive ROM and which is like light weighted and there is not enough application is there so you can customize and install whatever applications you need so there is no bloatware. Besides that, if you look at the settings menu, let's go and talk about the specific settings for this ROM and this is the toggles. If you go to the battery option you can see the battery modes here and that is the battery saver threshold you can set and I go to the settings menu you can see these are the regular settings you are used to find on almost all ROMs and here is the ROM specific settings like first one is the status bar you can customize all the aspects of the set status bar from here like carrier label if you want to add a carrier label you can add that and you can customize using the colors and if you need to add network traffic on the bar the status bar you can add that and get a customize and the notification ticker brightness control if you want and then a notification count double tap to sleep network activity arrows and all and you can also customize the clock you can set any colors you want and battery bar is here you can customize battery status icon if you want circle you can add and then if you want to add the battery percentage you can add in to the ins inside of that cycle so you can customize all aspects from there and talking about the next session it's the notification drawer so if you want quick pull down option you can add that so if you want to pull down on the right side so if you're pulling from the right side it'll pull like that and then if you want to add the show weather information like here you can add or you can remove that from the notification drawer and here is the heads up display so whenever a notification come it will show a heads up format and you can also customize the tiles how many tiles you want you can customize and you can even add more tiles to the notification area and then if you want to add uh, four tiles in the first row you can add like that and then you can also enlarge the first row so that's how you can do you can customize all the aspects from there and then vibrate on touch other options and this is about the lock screen you can want to add uh, whether of details here you can add and this is the normal lock screen if you Swipe from here, you can go to the dialer and you can do other stuff. So that's about the weather, and then you can uh, want to customize these uh, shortcuts. You can uh, add that and then select the application which application you want to launch. Long press I lock icon to sleep, you can do that. And uh, next, talking about the expanded desktop, you can uh, customize each and every application to the expanded mode is pretty handy in some cases and uh, talking about the sound options there is not much you can uh, turn off the camera shutter from here and then in button section if you want on screen button you can go for it you can see the on screen button looks really cool a different kind and uh, backlight and if you want to customize the on screen button uh, layout buttons everything you can do from here I'm not a fan of uh, on screen button I always use the capacitive button down there so if you want to customize that capacitive buttons you can uh, do it from here it's like power menu is there and you can also customize the home button actions like long pressing home button what you have to do you can do that and double tap and menu button short press long press and other volume button actions you can customize all these actions it's like um, if you want to turn on the short press short press if you can if you want you can or set it for reason app switcher so tapping this one it will launch the 
prison apps Ta i mean taskbar can do stuff like that in the button section in slim reason this is one of the my favorite forwards normally you'll see just this kind of uh, stacked android task manager but if you are using slim reasons you will get this kind of neatly arranged sidebar so which is really nice and if you want to show only running apps you can opt for that so it will show only running apps and you can now uh, set the maximum allowed apps and expanded mode other options if you want to show on left edge you can do that so it will show on the left edge show top most task you can do that and you can also customize sizes stuff like that it's really neat and I love this feature in this room clear out reason area and other stuff not worth mentioning you can play with the animations here and you can also customize the DBI of the room identity icons and these are the gesture session this is normal three gestures are there and then in the layers manager it's like a replacement for the themes option in other rooms and you can install any layers if you want and then you can you can download from the play store itself and then you can apply for which area you need to apply you can apply all these overlays which is pretty neat other than that all the normal settings you used to find in almost all the rooms and here is a kernel option which is using the kernel auditor so you can customize the kernel auditor for, uh, details from here you can get all the options here so let's talk here about the this is the gallery application and uh, you can see dollar normal data window I mean uh, messages application browser and Adaway Adaway is actually comes with this ROM so it's like it's a good option so you can uh, block all the ads other than that, there are daily tools you can like see and then documents app music app this is the regular music app and the thing is that it, this ROM doesn't come with any camera application so you can choose which camera application you want to install and I'm using the ported one so overall I love the responsiveness of this ROM and this looks really neat and especially the slim task manager I really like this and you can try it on and let me know what you think about this ROM and if you want to know how to install this ROM I made a video on the which will show you how to install any ROM on the OnePlus One so I'll provide that link in the description below that's it guys thanks for watching please subscribe for more